A lot of people will help the people of Orlando by donating blood, but some people standing in line are being sent home and being told they can't donate blood. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live. Now, for the moment, many gay men cannot donate blood, Mark. Right, Adam. This has been a long standing federal policy prohibiting gay men from donating blood. A slight change in the rules will soon take place, but here in Denver, at least, that shift still hasn't yet occurred. A crime. And then the call to help after the shooting in Orlando. People giving blood in Florida and here in Colorado. But not everyone could donate. Whenever there's been drop blood drives at the office uh, or at some organization that I'm affiliated with, I just never participate because I know the policy. Gay men like Joe Megacy have been prohibited from giving blood because of a ban put in place in the 80s over fear of AIDS. Soon the policy will be adjusted. Gay men can donate, but will have to wait for a year if they've had sex with another man. It's very painful to this day to know how far we've come along in terms of science and technology and how we're able to test for HIV AIDS and screen and realize that it is not a uh, disease or illness that's limited only to the gay community. Tonight, one member of Congress would like the FDA to do away with the ban altogether. Blood is blood. It's all, it's all, it's all red and we need it uh, to save lives. Uh, what, of course, it's fair to look at when you evaluate donors is uh, their risk profile. I think that's a positive step in the right direction to change the law like that or the policy like that. But I still think we have a lot of work to do to reduce stigma. In Metro Denver, at least, Bonfies hopes to allow some gay men to donate blood by the end of the month. The company is making changes to its computers and screening forms to allow for that to happen. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mark Stewart, Denver 7.